Yes, and Jelani Asar here with Income Protection Atlanta. First things first, go to IncomeProtectionAtlanta.com. Right now, just open up a new tab or a new browser in Firefox or whatever your browser may be. Go to IncomeProtectionAtlanta.com and join our email list so you can receive your free report entitled Protect My Income in Atlanta only for you if you desire more financial security in this volatile and chaotic economy. And now let's get to our interview with another mesmerizing Atlanta business owner. <laughs> Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we are. This is Jelani Asar from Income Protection Atlanta, your local source for voluntary employee benefits and financial protection right here in Atlanta. And here today, yes, we have another amazing interview with an awesome Atlanta business owner, Charles H. Green, Executive Director of the Small Business Finance Institute. We are very excited today. Be prepared to learn a lot. For Charles, you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing, Jelani? I'm doing great. How are you? Great, thank you. Well, glad glad for you coming on. And like I said, we're prepared to learn a lot today. I know you have a lot to teach. So first of all, I first came across Charles through LinkedIn. We were connected on LinkedIn, and I was looking through his profile, and there were several things that stood out to me, uh, one of which is the fact that he has history in venture capital as a venture capitalist. And, I mean, as far as my research into entrepreneurship, it seems that VCs hold a very esteemed position and uh, great power. So I thought, wow, this is pretty interesting. Plus, he has tons of history in finance and in business. For example, right now, he's the executive director of the Small Business Finance Institute, which you can learn more about by going to sbfi.org. He's also the chairman at the Fulton County Arts Council. He also has been the president of Sunrise Bank in Atlanta, the vice president at U.S. Bank, and also a managing partner at the Southeast Capital Associates. And you also authored several books on SBA loans. Is that correct, Charles? Well, SBA loans and other financing vehicles. And these are the thick ones, right, the textbook length well, I don't know, 250 pages. If, if that's thick, it's uh, it's more about content than, than how thick it is. But if you get right. plenty out of it, it's, it can be a pamphlet if it works. Right. <laughs> well, great. So, first of all, Charles, could you tell us, in your own words, what you do with the Small Business Finance Institute and what you're teaching? <clears throat> well, um, I've really spent... 30 something years in the financial marketplace as a banker, as an intermediary, as a venture capitalist, um, and dealt with in that time frame literally hundreds of uh, small businesses and who, who needed financing of one sort or another and uh, <clears throat> was in the transaction to disperse or invest or loan hundreds of millions of dollars of financing product. But one of the common themes that I stumbled through in that time frame was to recognize that most of my clients couldn't read their own financial statement. Okay. So it, it's kind of like uh, driving up to a uh, tire store and you may have a flat tire or you may have four perfectly good tires with plenty of, of miles left on them. But if you don't know and you don't ask and kick the tires, so to speak, you may get sold something you really don't need or doesn't really fix your needs, but it does empty $1,000 out of your wallet. Right. Uh, the Small Business Finance Institute was um, an enterprise I started last year to meet that need to provide education for small business owners who need to know more about how to manage, manage the money they have and find the money they need. Uh -huh. Interesting. And, and, and wonderful. And join us for our next part 
of another fantastic interview with our great guest when another amazing Atlanta business owner. In the next video.